We wanted to make a short video explaining our 20 years of life, telling everyone that it all started as a dream, that we got a modernist building in Barcelona, and that we wanted to launch the first gay hotel in the world. Because at the time, LGBTQ plus didn't exist yet. We wanted to talk about where the name came from, the famous please disturb and the concept of hetero-friendly. Because all of these things have their own history and are enough to keep people listening for a whole dinner. We wanted to say that we were born as an open space in a time of dark rooms and closed closets. We have grown with the community and we have fought like every one of them every day of our existence. We have seen an entire generation pass through our rooms. We wanted to show all the names of the activists, creative artists, and celebrity friends who feel at home when they come to see us. We wanted to explain why one day we decided to open in the San Telmo neighborhood of Buenos Aires, and that in Berlin the mayor gave us the key to the city, and that to meet the demand of our first hotels we had to give them little siblings. And after that we went after our first apart hotel in Gran Canaria, and immediately came the one in Ibiza with direct access to the sea. And then our little palace in Madrid, and more hotels in Venezia and San Sebastian. And also that we once developed a kind of grinder for our guests when grinder didn't exist yet. That later we launched a campaign paraphrasing a verse from the Bible that talked about diversity when no one was talking about diversity yet. That we put on a festival on a cruise ship full of stars captained by RuPaul. And that we twerked while looking at the horizon. We also wanted to explain that we crossed the pond and finally opened in Miami and that we turned the story of Columbus around with the campaign. And that we managed to open in Havana and the city of Salsa welcomed us with open arms. And by the way, if we had space left, we would have wanted to say that we have rethought ourselves and that we've redefined all of our communication. We have changed our image and that our new purpose is celebrating freedom inside. But it didn't take us long to realize that it was impossible to sum up 20 years in a short video. The half of the photos from the opening events had been left on CDs that were lost in a move. That we also didn't own the rights to be able to show the faces of all the artists and celebrities who come to see us. And that our new purpose in the end is to verbalize what's always been our essence. So it would be better if we focus on the future because this coming year is full of freedom.